Hello, my name is Melinda Sherbring. I'll be teaching a two-day class, number 221, Elizabethan Enchantment. It will be on Tuesday, sorry, on Wednesday and Thursday, August 24th and 25th, at the EGA National Seminar in New York City. It is an intermediate level class using some characteristically Elizabethan stitches that you may or may not have encountered before. It looks like this. Now I'm going to switch to uh, my close-up camera and talk to you a little bit about this design. Hello. This is a photograph because the lighting caused the original one to sparkle too much to be able to see much at all. This project features some old world and new world design elements. The old world is represented by the pomegranates, irises, anonymous yellow uh, flowers, the leaf styles and having a very 16th century style overall layout along with birds and a lizard. The new world design elements come from the anonymous yellow flowers being modeled after squash blossoms. The lizard being a whiptail lizard most notable for being a parthenogenic that is female only species and the bird being a roadrunner. The new world touches are from the land of enchantment, the home state of my youth, New Mexico. If the Roadrunner doesn't speak to you, I've also included information on making them peacocks with closed tails. The quintessentially Elizabethan stitches that are less common modernly that are in this piece are plaited braid, which we will first uh, learn at large size on uh, seven count plastic canvas before moving to the smaller size with metal thread. Squiggle stitch. You won't find this one in a book. I found it in a single historical piece and I thought it was just too much fun to lose it in the re in the mists of time. Ceylon stitch. A versatile stitch that appears several places on this piece with different treatments. Corded detached buttonhole, uh, also known as corded Brussels stitch, is used as a filling as is corded lark's head stitch, uh, another filling stitch that you may or may not know as up and down buttonhole with straight stitch return. There's also several other more common stitches, chain, woven wheel, also known as woven spiderweb, French knot, stem, satin, and straight stitch. I expect that intermediate stitchers will have at least a passing familiarity with these, though we will review them in class. Hello again. The pre-work for this class is to transfer the design, mount the linen and muslin backing onto stretcher bars, and bring them with you to class. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in New York. Bye-bye.